Well, today we're showing you our hidden camera footage of how kids react when they find a firearm laying around. But how do you know when they're in the presence of one? Do you even know if your neighbor or your child's play date uh, have parents with a gun in the home? Do they keep it locked up? Heather Nauer is here now with more. Heather? Of course, it's our constitutional right to own a gun, but with that comes responsibility, especially when there are kids in the home. But what do you do when your child goes to another family's house? Do you ever think to ask if they have a gun? It can be a tough question, but I recently met a mom who regrets not posing it. This is something that every parent should see. He just said to me, I don't know how to tell you this. And I said, what? And he said, Nicholas was shot. And I said, what are you talking about? How, when, where? December 22nd, 2010. 12 year old Nicholas Namkin, a seventh grader who had a flair for art and performing. Was accidentally shot while spending the night at a friend's house. We were told that they went downstairs to the basement where Nicholas's friend showed him some old, like 40 year old bullets. And his friend asked him if he's ever seen a real gun before. He went to his parents' bedroom and got the gun out of a, like a sock drawer. Thinking that the gun was unloaded, he pointed at Nicholas and pulled the trigger. <laughs> How it feels listening to every single heartbeat, knowing that it's going to stop any second. And this is the last heartbeat you're going to hear from your child. Did you know that the parents were gun owners of the little boy? I never thought of it. You never thought about that before? H had you known, would you have felt differently about having your son play at his house? Absolutely. How do you ask that family if they own a weapon and if it's properly secured? You just ask. So that's it. Just as Oksana says, you just ask. And though it can be an awkward conversation, it's one that's practical and necessary. For 75 to 80% of families with guns in the home, first and second graders know where that gun is kept. So it, it really is unrealistic to think that the kids don't know what's going on. And because of that awareness, experts say lay the groundwork with your kids early and often. You need to start the conversation early from kindergarten on, and it needs to be the rules. And when approaching parents, keeping it conversational works best. There needs to be no emotion about it. It's just one of the questions. Do you have allergies? Do you have a pet? Do you have a swimming pool? Do you have a gun? And if a family takes offense, offer to move the play date. Studies have shown people with guns aren't offended by asking the question. In fact, it's almost offered a lot of times. It's a matter of you feeling safe. The reality is it could take just once for something to happen to your child. You need to make that decision that's going to keep your child safe. It was such a bright light. It's... This is him at the school play. It is really, really important to know uh, if where you, you know, if the people where you're sending your child for a play date um, are gun owners and how they're stored. We're not trying to take, you know, uh, the guns away from gun owners. There's nothing wrong with asking. So you could make uh, an educated choice. Oksana and her husband are now working to pass Nicholas's bill in New York State. It would require the safe storage of guns with a locking device to prevent children from using them. The bill is now before the state Senate. All right. Thanks, Heather. Now reporting for us this morning and tough questions and questions that she brings up, uh, the things you would ask. Do you have a pool in your backyard? So when kids are playing there. Is there a fence around it? Are there guns in the house? Are there other sorts of things that you need to be worried about as a parent? Well, I'm not sure those are there. questions. Those are more statements. And the point of that package was guns are scary. Gun owners are a threat to you and your children. And the truth is, well, obviously a child's death is the worst tragedy imaginable. Far more children died last year drowning in their bathtubs than were killed accidentally by guns. So I'd like to see a package on, do you have a bathtub at home? Because I need to know that before I send my child over to your well, house. I mean, a little perspective might be helpful, I think. And we have on the show in the beginning of the summer talked about the dangers of pool safety. It's a question that, you know, I, I think about. But how about bathtub it? safety? Well, that's, yeah, that's a great question, But I mean, too. the point of that was, gun owners are scary, and any gun owner could be a threat to your child. 
you know, take a look at the places with the highest levels of gun ownership. They're also the safest places. Maine, Wyoming, you're not going to get hurt in Maine and Wyoming, and they are Vermont, right? But it's I mean, also ingrained in the family's culture, and so the, the conversation isn't as tough to have in places like that, because you maybe almost even assume that, they may, that guns may be in the home, the kids are around it, so they don't get so curious. If somebody asked me the idea that 93% of people don't mind if you ask them if they have a firearm at home, I find that a very private question, and that's something the government wants to know because they'd like to disarm you. But I, it's something that I'm not comfortable talking about with other people, and I would be offended by that question. So count me in the 7%. Let us know your thoughts on it, friends, at foxnews.com.